March special. I know that you planned and organized the first Trans March. We're on Young Street right now. Why is this important? Yeah, because this is actually like the first year that we actually made it to Young Street, which is what we wanted. I mean, somebody must have said this. It's on the anniversary of Stonewall. I know! Could you plan it any better than this? How much of an inspiring site is this? It's fantastic. It's the biggest one there's ever been. It's on Young Street. Everything's perfect. Everything's great. So there was some controversy leading up to this surrounding the police. Bring us up to speed on what happened. So what happened was the uh, the police, they have an LGBT contingent. From what I understand, they're all very supportive, understanding great people. They wanted to want March in solidarity, but a lot of people really were not ready for that. It's Some people, it's very triggering and upsetting. Uh, a lot of people had bad experiences with the police. Um, and the LGBT contingent decided that it would be... I don't want to put words in their mouths, but they said they, they would withdraw out of sensitivity, which I thought was a very a good step towards solidarity in itself. Well, I mean, it's a nuance. It's, it's, a, it's a difficult thing because we've, all of us, every trans person has had a tough time one time or another with various members of the police force. That said, there are activists within the police force who are trying to affect change. So the LGBT liaison officer, which is two or three officers, asked if they could march with us. Personally, I can see this merit to that, build bridges, that kind of thing. But it did raise a lot of uh, passion in some people. And you got to respect that. The whole point of the trans march is to give voice to trans people, right? So I can't criticize their voices. I, I just we just have to make sure that all voices are heard. I'm feeling the love tonight. You know, I haven't felt like this since the first trans march in 2009, and uh, I you know the rain stopped, and I, you know, I'm thinking of Kyle and the fallen, and uh, how important it is to remember those who aren't here tonight. Kyle took his own life last year. Um, tell me a bit about uh, who Kyle was and why he. Why he took his own life? Um, well, Kyle to me was a friend and colleague of mine at the 519. We worked together for 10 years. His uh, loss uh, was huge to the 519 and certainly the uh, trans community as a whole. What do you think he would say today at seeing thousands of people and uh, trans people and allies marching and taking young. I think he would be very heartened to see so many folks out today, uh, certainly uh, trans folks and allies. Uh, I am so honored I get to interview the Grand Marshal, Irene Miller. How are you tonight? Oh, excited, happy, proud. So trans youth are some of the most victimized, some of the most marginalized kids out there. Um, how can P how is PFLAG helping trans youth? Well, every month we have at least one or two families with a young high school age or university age person transitioning. We're showing not that those families are normal, but we are personalizing who they are, making them feel comfortable with us as we are comfortable with them. Trans rights are human rights!